Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, the original YouTube shop teacher, and this is my short subject number 25, and it's all about the rather uncommon quick wedge screwdriver, of which I have quite a nice selection here to show you and talk about, so let's begin. In approximately 1957, I rode my bicycle over to my friend Dick Walton's house and we worked on his motorbike that had a continental red seal on it, if you know what those motors are. And he said, take a look at this. And he said, my dad just bought this and it was a quick wedge screwdriver. He showed me how they worked and I was rather amazed. This particular advertisement is from Popular Science in about 1953. So that's about the time that these were marketed and they are still on the market and they're made in the USA. I tried to find the patent on them and I could not. Maybe it's not patented. If anyone can find that, please put it in the comments below. You know what? Possibly this video isn't worth making, but the quick wedge screwdriver comes in many different sizes, different lengths, and some of these are kind of expensive, 30 or 40 dollars, because they're rated for 10,000 volts and can be used by electricians. But the whole gist of these is that the bit here is split and they are wedges that are working against one another like that such that the operator can grip his screw and it has to be a slotted type screw granted we don't use too many of these anymore but so handy to reach down into something to get the screw started you wouldn't want to do the final tightening with this because I think they're kind of delicate but it sure could get you started, couldn't it? So they're a labor saver and quite unique, I think. And up until that time, many screwdrivers came equipped with these little clips on the end. This is a Craftsman, probably still make them. And you simply slide this up like this and it grips the screw. But you're going to fumble around with it like I just did and then it holds the head like that. And that does work pretty good, but they're kind of a nuisance. In fact, I cut many of these off of screwdrivers over the years and threw them away because they can be annoying and in the way. And here's another one. So just everybody and his brothers had their design for that type of screwdriver. Raise your hand if you have one. And sure, they made magnetic screwdrivers as well. And I never did think they gripped very well, but using a little neodymium magnet on a regular screwdriver, they do hold fairly well, although look at it, it's crooked. That could make a swearing man swear, but that's a possibility. Look at that, that's no good. And of course, 98% of screws now have a Phillips head and can be held in this type of thing. And usually we're driving screws now with battery drills like this so and there are different bits that would fit in here of course straight ones as well as Phillips and the ever popular A for Arthur. Raise your hand if you understood the joke that I just told you. Actually these more modern ones I bought at an auction within the last few years and there was a whole pile of them in a tray and I think I only paid about five or ten bucks for the whole tray and they're brand new. So a bunch of these are brand new, but I got some old ones too. And I always hated it when the screwdriver handles turn white and start smelling. But it still works, but this isn't one I want to hang on to now that I got all these nice ones. But one other thing that I noticed here as I was looking through my selection is that this black one here appears to be easier to photograph because it doesn't reflect. But when I looked at it, I realized it was a VACO or a VACO. So I don't know if they got around the patent or they paid a licensing fee or maybe these never were patented. But what I like about this particular one, I'll just call it the red one since I don't know how to pronounce that, I can take this whole sleeve off and show you exactly how it's constructed. So the split here goes all the way up into the plastic 
And it's nothing more than a wedge, of course, that's doing that. But you can see that this might be semi-expensive to manufacture. I guess I lied to you a few minutes ago when I said, I believe 10,000 volts, it's actually 1,000 volts that this is rated for. Also, I fibbed to you when I said these are 20 or 30 or 40 dollars. They're actually three dollars and twenty-four cents. And if you can find them for that price, grab them. Again, the Vaco K34 works like this. And it really grips it tightly. And the genuine quick wedge, and I think these are made in Salt Lake City, model 2304, works the same. Notice how I'm just pushing it up with my thumb. Pretty slick, huh? By the way, I'm not being paid by quick wedge, although I wouldn't mind it if they would send me a dozen. But I'm doing this on my own because I think it's a great product and quality built and made in the USA. And that concludes this short video. Be sure and watch other videos in my short subject series. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now.